I couldn't believe my eyes when we took the boat up. Look at that. Hi and welcome to Pantastica. As you probably know, our channel is for holiday places, not boats. But I thought I'd do this as um, it could help a lot of people. We took our boat up in October 2022 and the bottom was totally covered with barnacles, totally covered. I even had a, an argument with our mechanic saying that he'd done something with our engines there uh, because it was losing t 10 knots more or less and I was fuming. It wasn't until we took the boat up that we noticed that the whole bottom was the the whole of the hull was totally covered. Even the even the motors, the the propellers, the drives, the, the, were covered. The mistake we made was that we left them on there until ah oh, the uh, autumn. And when we got the boat, when we tried to take them off, the white kelp that's on the bottom was rock hard, and we had a hell of a job. Hell of a job. Well, not me. I've operated on my shoulder, so. Um, I couldn't do it unfortunately, but the wife did, and it took her two days of hard slog. But what we did realise is that by trial and error, using the products that we did, putting it on a little bit longer than what they state on the bottle, it says two to four minutes on the bottle, but don't put it on for two to four minutes, leave it on for 10 to 15. That is that the temperature isn't above 10 degrees. It's a bit chilly, but you can wrap it warm, but make sure it's not above 15 degrees outside because it will dry on the boat, and it, it really does. It's such a strong product. But um, leave it on there, and it just dissolves the, the lime scale, what, what the, these um, barnacles leave behind. And we are so pleased with the result. She has grafted. And the products that we used are as follows. I will show you because get yourself these. You will need them. It's a good mask, good pair of gloves, scraper, and the barnacle remover, which is from uh, Shark Bite. I'll uh, show you now. Right, here you go. These gloves are brilliant. They can cope with all sorts of chemicals. This scraper that we've got is got with a rounded edge on it, which is highly recommended as well, and uh, get a nice size one. This is the mask. It's a full face mask from 3M. You will need this because you do not want to get those uh, fumes from the uh, barnacle remover down your throat or in your eyes because it's strong stuff and it will hurt. But that's a good mask. This one we paid almost 150 quid for, but um, well worth it. You can't get new eyes but uh, you can also, you always buy a new mask. This is the stuff. This is the barnacle remover. Uh, it is brilliant. And uh, they call it, up there, as you can see, Hufstilpana, which is barnacles, and uh, snails and stuff, and calc lime. But this stuff is absolutely brilliant. Brilliant. It does say on the back, uh, which you won't be able to read, and the decks is too small, but it does say leave it on for two to four minutes, but you shouldn't. Leave it on there for 10 to 15 minutes if you want to make your life a little bit easier. But this stuff, when we used it on our boat, it took 14 bottles of the stuff. Uh, but we do have between 45 and 50 square meters of hull to clean up. Uh, but it's done the job. I will, ship, I will put some pictures on showing you the before and after so that you can see what it was like. But. Um Okay, here's a little update on what's going on now. They're going to take the boat down to the waterfront, put it on the crane and leave it hanging there so that we can get <coughs> the rest of the boat, the bottom, cleaned. And then it will go back into the hole. Oh, 
Right, whilst they're preparing, I'll put you on pause just for a second and then start filming again when they start moving. Right, now what they'll do is they'll lift the whole truck piece up to there, and then those arms. There you go, if you could see that on the film. And then the, this middle one, he's doing the uh, barboard side. And then this side, up. So it's lifting the boat up above the blocks. There you go, the blocks being taken out from underneath. Boat weighs six and a half ton. So, whilst they're preparing again, I'll pause and then I will get back to you in a mo. Right, now they've moved the blocks out of the way and off she goes. It's incredible how efficient the stuff that they've got there is. That's Stefan, the boss of the marina, is taking the one in charge. And there's Mindy, our Windy, that's going to be put into the crane, left hanging there, so that we've, we can get rid of the rest of the barnacles uh, that we couldn't get to because of the uh, blocks that were holding her up. So we'll get rid of them now and uh, give her a good clean and uh, then she'll be put back into the warm uh, for what you call it storage so that we can then we're going to foil the whole of this bit here and the hull will be painted in blue so here we go down she goes Right, see you down there by the uh, crane. Okay, we're down by the crane now, and uh, this is where we're going to, this crane, by the way, that can take 40 ton. That's a good size crane. So, uh, yeah, whilst they're doing that, I've got to get the um, tools out of the car so we can start on back in the moment. Okay, welcome back. What I want to explain now was where these were sitting before was just here. Uh, so we couldn't clean the boat with the barnacles, but now they've moved the boat down to the waterfront and she's hanging on these crane bands on these little studs there. So now I've sprayed the barnacle remover on there and I'll leave that for 15 minutes and then uh, I'll scrape her down. But um, I'll just show you, I've done it on this side as well, under there. So just let it do its job, and then um, I'll get back to you when I'm scraping. In the tools of the tray, the gloves for protection, the mask is a must. That's necessary. It really is. And the scraper. And <laughs> it's not enough with a half mask just over your uh, mouth and nose. You need to have the full mask on. Well, I've just sprayed here. But they're almost gone now because there was nothing left of them. But over the end here, you can see. This is where oh, we have tried to do it before as well, but a uh, few of them left. But they, they, I think they'll, they'll be easy to get off. And here. So I just scrape it a bit so you can see. Melting off. Uh, if you just watch, this is how you go this up here. Uh,
I'll do it again after this. This is just the first coating, and then I'll do one more after this. This is a bit the, the worst of it left. You can't really see it, but there are still quite a lot left. So the last bit you have to take separately. Yeah. And if you put the barnacle remover on one more time, that will almost melt away. And then get everything off. Right, that's how it's done, and then take the cloth, give it a wipe, the stuff that you've done. So if it's you smooth. Dry underneath as well. Under there. It's smooth, but uh, it, it needs a. I'll go and get the, the stuff. There you see, it's still. And I'll spray it again. So you have to do it twice. But as you can see, even though she's a baby, as they say up here, it's still almost 51 square meters that you have to take away barnacles on. So it's much better to check what your color, what, is, what's it, what it, it's made of, and uh, use the right color for the right seed. As you can see, straight away when I spray, they're still there because it, it's the white. I won't go near now because if the spray gets in your lungs, you're not feeling very well. Let the fumes go. This is how it looks when it's doing its job. So now it's melting away. So the second time you can take the last rest of it off. Yeah. See, it is all. It almost vaporizes. Yeah, it's almost gone. It's gone. After you do it the second time. <laughs> yeah, there's nothing left there. Don't do it that way, because then it's mm -hmm. in your head. That's it, she's wiped that off and she's clean, I think. Yep, that one's... Yep, totally, look at that. No, totally gone there. Completely. Hi folks, welcome back. Now we've uh, finished getting rid of all the barnacles and uh, the next stage is to give her a clean. So we've um, sprayed a load of shampoo over her as uh, she was really dirty and now Anna's giving her a good clean with the high pressure hose and then um, yeah just draining her off a little bit. As um, Then tomorrow she'll be put into the hall again where uh, a company called uh, Katima, a Swedish company, are going to come and um, striper basically with um cold fever and it will look really good i hope this is we've done this side now we've got the next side to do so it's uh, one side at a time takes time but i do think she's looking lovely excellent fantastic see you soon Well, there you go there you see that's the after product I'll do a little video just to show you because uh, it really is a massive massive difference it's shining under there now I mean it, this was uh, it looked like grass had grown on the bottom here it was absolutely horrible um, I made use of it being on land and done the props as well I um, primed them and then sprayed them with uh, anti-fouling the same with the, the propellers done them as well and uh, yes I'm pretty pleased with the result it's a windy GM 37 this boat and um, I can't wait to get her back in the water won't be long now